Hey, here's a goofy food for thought question for you. Can n celestial bodies be arranged in space to compute 3n plus 1 trajectories? We encode the 3n plus 1 start number as a set of bodies in space with initial positions and velocities. Then we'd watch the bodies move around and read off the start number's 3n plus 1 trajectory from the literal trajectories of the n bodies. For example, suppose the initial configuration for start number 3 looks like this. Notice that the smallest body is 3 units away from the center. The bodies move around based on gravitational attraction, and after a year, they're here. Now the smallest body is 5 units away. After another year, it's 8 units away. Then 4 units away. Then 2 units away. Then 1. And after that, the orbits stabilize, and the little guy goes from 1 to 2 and back. So this is all made up, but could it be done? All right, everybody knows the three-body problem is unsolvable. Now, what does that mean? It means nobody knows a closed-form solution for specifying the positions of the three bodies at time t, just like the quadratic equation has a closed form, but the quintic doesn't. So what does closed form mean? I mean, if you allow square roots, what else is allowed? That part's not too clear. Also, here's a closed-form solution for an infinite series discovered by Euler. I guess it's okay to have pi in the closed form, even though if you try to write it down, you get another infinite non-repeating sequence. So some three-body trajectories are non-repeating. That's been known for a long time. They never settle down. And sometimes a body wanders off into space, never to return, uh, kind of like in the 5n plus 1 problem, where the start number 7 seems to just wander off. And uh, just like in the 3n plus 1 problem, nobody knows whether the three-body problem is Turing complete. I mean, maybe you could cajole three celestial bodies not just into simulating 3n plus 1 trajectories, but into running any computer program. Okay, well, uh, that's kind of mind-blowing and certainly makes simulating 3n plus 1 uh, seem a little bit more reasonable. So how to program n bodies to do something? Well, astronautical engineers do it all the time. They initialize the positions and velocities of the planets and moons as they observe them, and then they figure out where to put a tiny moving spaceship so that it'll visit all the planets and moons using just the gravitational forces without any extra fuel. So starting simple, suppose we wanted our tiny 3n plus 1 satellite to follow a circular orbit between rings 1 and 2, or rings 1 and 7. Well, we just put a massive planet between those rings and give the satellite uh, an initial appropriate push. Um, then, suppose we want our tiny satellite to follow the 3n plus 1 trajectory. But, say, just for start number 3. Forget about all the other start numbers. And maybe just follow that trajectory for, say, three steps of the 3n plus 1 rule. Then where would we put the other bodies to ensure that happens? and kind of go from there. So maybe some machine learning optimization could figure out where all the bodies should be placed to ultimately really simulate the 3n plus 1 rule. Okay, some food for thought.